Hey YouTube, it's been a little bit since I've done a video. I honestly haven't been sure I was going to keep making any. Uh, but I've had a few new subscribers and some comments on some old videos. So I thought, well, we'll try again for a little bit. And start with a haul video and um, we'll definitely do a few more overviews. Those seem to be my more popular videos. So if you've subscribed recently, thank you so much for doing that and for encouraging me to keep going. Uh, so I'm going to show some geeky stuff I've got in the last couple months. Um, it's just a variety of things. Got a few comics and graphic novels. A few figures came in today, so I thought, well, it'd be a good day to show some stuff. First thing you'll see is I got the Lego um, Infinity Gauntlet. It doesn't quite fit in my frame, um, but it was very cool. Very excited um, to get and to build this um, as you've seen, I, I do a few Lego, um, especially nice display pieces like this one. Uh, just fits so well with my room. A um, couple more uh, small things. Um, I found the uh, new Batmobile for the new Batman movie, uh, Hot Wheel. So very nice. If you're looking for it, it's easy to find with that uh, logo at the top. And then I've gotten a few pops. Um, not I couldn't remember what all I had since the last one. Um, some from the new Suicide Squad movie. We have Harley Quinn. Um, Bloodsport. And King Shark. And TDK, which was a con exclusive shared with Hot Topic. So if you're looking for that... You can find it at Hot Topic. Um, they're very nice figures. I'll probably try to get the rest of the figures from the movie. Then in the mail today, I got um, this. I picked up the NECA um, movie turtle. So this is the ultimate April O'Neil that they did a pre-order for a while back. So very nice figure. Excited to put that with um, my turtle display. And then I got one McFarlane. Boy, pre-ordered this from Target. Oops, not going to fit, but it is the armored dark side from um, Zack Snyder's Justice League. So, very, very cool figure. Uh, very happy to have it and hopefully get some more um, from that movie soon. So, I uh, got a couple single issues today if you're waiting for comics. First one is Superman, Son of Kal-El, number one. Um, very much looking forward to this series written by Tom Taylor. If you see my other videos are very much like his stuff. Uh, and then this cover, I just absolutely love. Of course, it's a throwback to that old Superman number one. Um, and then I'll have to show sometime. I, one of the first comics I got was an homage to that original is a, I can't remember what number. It's an action comics by George Perez. So it looks very similar to this. Uh, so this was just the cover I had to get. And I went to Ollie's once, and uh, I have a graphic novel from there, but I picked up one of the um, packs of, like, five comics. Four of them were, were really worth anything. I thought this one's worth a lot, but this one was fun to find. X-Men number one, the um, uh, Magneto cover. So pretty cool. I actually sent, I have another cover that I've sent to CGC. Had known I was going to find this one, I might have sent it too. So, um, but it's still a lot of fun to have. Um, then a few random books I've picked up. Like so these, most have come the last couple months. Um, no big order right now. Uh, but this is a Flash, uh, the Flash Age. This is volume fourteen, and keeping up with that um, series there. The front and the back, a few. I want to take a look. I picked up We Live, Volume 1. Um, this was a lot of fun. I may do an overview of this one. Um, very much liked it. Dystopian type situation. All right. And then also on Ollie's trip, I found um, they had the first three volumes of this, uh, the John Ostrander um, Suicide Squad. I only picked up volume one. I, I looked at this multiple times. I was on the fence about it. I uh, thought, well, it's a new movie. I'll pick this up, read it, 
I, part of the way through it, it's pretty good. Uh, I will probably go back to that Ollie's and um, pick up the next two volumes at least. All right, then this was an uh, eBay purchase. I've been looking for a copy of this, Batman, Bruce Wayne, Murderer. I found Fugitive at Ollie's, which is one that's um, a little bit harder to find. This one's getting harder to find, too. In fact, a lot of copies on eBay. This one's got a little damage, but I got it for a good price. There are some copies um, that it's gone up on, so if that's something you're looking for, you might want to jump on it quick. Um, and then I've had these for a while, but uh, the next two volumes of Castle and the Stars. So you have the Knights, the Knights of Mars and Volume 4, A Frenchman on Mars. I have not read these yet. The first two volumes were really good, so I am looking forward to that. Then um, also an eBay purchase um, is Trillium by Jeff Lemire. This was a hole in my Jeff Lemire shelf. Um, I missed this when, it, when the Deluxe came out. And um, I kept kicking myself because it shot up in price. And I've almost bought the trade paperback a few times. And uh, just kept looking for it. Found a copy on eBay. Someone, I guess, didn't know what they had. Um, and they got it for real cheap. All right, two more books. Um... Picked up Batman, um, Their Dark Designs by James Tinian. Um, I feel like it'll probably end up in an omnibus, but I wanted to go ahead and collect these and read them. They just, they look like a lot of fun. And I've been behind on Batman um, for a while and thought, well, I'll get, I'll get caught up and, and pick up the stuff I've missed. And this was one, so. Um, and then here's the back of that. All right, one more book. Um, this was... Um, this is the paperback version of Batman the Dark Prince Charming. Um, I have almost bought this a few times and never did. Um, and what I, the one order I placed with in stock trades in the last couple months was for um, TMNT, uh, the IDW collection, volume 13. So I ordered that when it came out, um, what was that, beginning of the month or end of last month? And I thought, well, I need one more book to push me over that uh, fifty dollars for free shipping. So I added that. So where is that one? Well, that book was severely damaged. I've never gotten a book so damaged from in stock trades. Um, the entire spine had caved in. I'm surprised the pages were still holding on. But um, anyway, got it sent back. They're sending me a new one, but it's been about a month since. Um, well, it's been two weeks since they've got that book back and. Uh, they just told me today I shipped my replacement copy. So, um, really, it's the second time I've had problems with them. Um, but I still love the company and still the best place to get your books. Um, just hate waiting on something you want to read. Well, anyway, thank you so much for watching um, and checking out my haul. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. Let me know some stuff you got. And if there's something you want a closer look at, please let me know. And I'll do a, a closer look and overview type video, especially if it's one of the books. So again, thanks for watching. Have a good night.